Hey everyone, it's Selena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome, welcome back. If you're new here, don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe. If you like things that are crafty, um, if you like to get crafty supplies, um, you're at the right spot. I'm here in my husband's garage. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. He's got his own barn garage. I don't know what you want to call it, but um, I've been working on the Reader's Digest book covers. They're going to be blanks. They're going to be empty. So then you guys can create whatever you want inside. Um, um, right now I'm just drilling in. Here you go. Here's this tool. He told me what it was. I forgot. Drill press, something of that sort. And um, I am drilling the holes for, here we go, for all these. Here we go. So I can put the, the uh, hitch posts. I think that's what it's called, hitch posts. Anyways, the posts that will be going on each book for the closure for the books. Um, and then I'll be enforcing the spines on the inside. So all you guys have to do is tie them in. So I'll be selling them in the shop as is, like, like as you'll see them in their own individual listings. I'm not gonna complete um, these. I figured, cause you're gonna wanna put your own saying, name tag, whatever. I kind of use that for a backdrop for you guys so you can kind of see an idea. Um, but it will come with the cover and then it'll have all the hardware like the screws or you can glue down um, that little faceplate when you want to complete your book. But anyways, these will be in the shop. <clears throat> what you see is what you'll get. You get to choose your own book cover. Inside the house, I have the ones where I reinforce the spines. Um, I have, uh, I'll show you that in another video. But right now, I wanted to show you <clears throat> what I have so far. I have about, I think, over 100 different readers digest where the spines are awesome, intact to where you don't have to complete it. I will have it all ready for you. So when you do pick out your own uh, Reader's Digest book cover, um, it'll be ready. All you do is put your signature in and you're gonna be tying it in. Like I said, um, I'll show a video how I am reinforcing the spines um, and how I'm doing like a piece of uh, fabric on the inside as well. But um, if I can't reinforce the spines that way, I'll be doing fabric on the outer to where you see no words at all so i'm not sure i'm just going through them all right now so far these are the good ones um and i think i have a pile over there as well in the bin but i'm just experimenting on this one and depending on the book cover and what color it is will depend on um the color of the hardware that i want to put on um, i do love gold part of me almost did like the gold on this one but i really did like the black being the fact that the this looked good um, so I'm going through and I'm trying to figure out part of me almost makes me want to pick that one, which I can. The post is still matches really good. Although, um, I think gold might look better. Tell me what you guys think. I can take that post out. Ooh, I got the air on in here. So this is going to fly away. I hope it doesn't put this on here so you can kind of see the different face plate. Hopefully, I'm doing this one-handedly. There we go. This is like a, a gold. Well, that gold doesn't match well with that. Let me find one with a little more gold finish. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like how gold these look. So yeah, I am experimenting. Trying to, sorry, I'm zoomed in too much. That might be a little bit better gold. Yeah, that one looks better. Let's see here. I might have to get some um, paint and maybe brush on these gold a little bit more. I would like a little bit more gold. If I'm gonna do gold, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious, at least for me. I'm trying to do it with one finger, or one hand, um, and looking into a camera. All right, I would put him there, but I can't see screwed in. What do you guys think? I think I would need to brush that with more gold if I want that to be gold. Part of me still likes the black better. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about that color that I like better. I think I'll stick with my original plan. Keep it black. Let's try this again, guys. Yeah, I like the black on this one better. Yeah, so that's what I gotta do on all these and figure out what colors I want. So far, I've been liking the, what do you call it, black. I would say it's like like an antique finish. Um, this is pretty, I thought I would like these more. But um, 
this is what I'm working on. Since you guys, uh, the holidays, I stayed away for the holidays that you guys enjoy, friends and family. I'm back to show you the new items that'll be going in the shop and what I'm working on. This is what I'm working on. Um, and I'll have them in the shop very, very soon, probably within this week. Um, I just wanna figure out what I wanna do here. <laughs> and I try not to put too much time into it because obviously you guys know time is money. I just wanted to make it easy, convenient for you guys. For those who don't have the tools like this to do this at home, at least I can have it ready for you guys. And all you have to do is just finish your book the way you want it, personalize it the way you want it, and all that. So that is my goal. That is what I'm working on now um, for during the holidays. I'm gonna be having these in the shop as well. Say if you just want the faceplate and the hitch post, I was gonna put them in the shop as a set um, or individual. Comment down below what you guys like, but I like to keep these in the shop as well. They're convenient, they're easy um, and all that. So, all right guys, I hope you can, your holiday was amazing. Mine was uh, thinking of ideas, cutting stock. I didn't really do a whole lot of much when it came to fun. Um, I am a workaholic. So, but here's some of the books. Aren't they pretty? I'm gonna make them even more prettier. Over here, I'll show you the other ones. I do have a bunch more in here as well. Oh, here you go, I had brought it out and I didn't even realize it. I'm gonna make you guys dizzy here. I'm gonna be walking around. This one, I just might do gold. All right, here's the spine that I reinforced. Now I'll show you guys another video. I gotta cut that. How I did it. Um, and how it's pretty solid. So all you do is just tie in your signature and it'd be ready to go. It's really nice. I did really good. And use old vintage fabrics as well. I love vintage stuff. As you guys can tell, I vintage this and I vintage that. And so the cool thing about this too is if you guys do decide you don't want to show the spine with words, you can still have the choice to wrap around fabric. Um, and a glue the spine with a different color fabric if you don't want the words. So it's totally up to you. If anything, I'm reinforcing the spines for you guys. Putting the hitch post and a face plate uh, is, comes with the book and where you can personalize it yourself. Um, so hope you guys like what I'm doing. I thought it was a great idea. I have a ton of Reader's Digest that I've gutted. Um, I had leftovers, so I thought, well, might as well just finish this, help you guys out. Um, along with these being put into the shop, I will have, if you guys remember, all those vintage albums um, of the travelers from around the world. Um, you're probably wondering, when am I going to do that? That has taken me forever. I think I've underestimated how much work that was going to be. I had separated them by the theme of where they went. I kept them in their albums um, to where I didn't undo her albums because she had written where she went and information on all everything in those books so you're going to get the entire album minus the album book like that old book spine thing it was huge i thought it would be too much weight for shipping so i separated them all i have to do is put them in their listing themes and list them so you can get a whole entire travel book kit um, and then you can choose your cover if you want or if you don't even want that traveler's theme stuff that I had just recently um, my parents had came across for me and if you have no clue what I am talking about if you go to a video or two where I had a video where I I scored big on um, a person's personal uh, travel like collection from all around the world from the 1950s all the way to the 2000s until they pass um, which is sad um, but the family didn't want the album, so I had them and I thought, well, I can separate them and put them together for you guys to where you guys can create it your own and kind of go with, see what she did. It was really cool. It was just different. Just a lot of work, guys. A whole lot of work. All right. Speaking of work, I'm going to get back into this um, and to tackle this and have this in the shop this week for you guys. Um, this is going to be so much fun. It's quite easy and fun. I just put some music on. This machine does all the work. So... I just have to measure and make sure they're on good. Let me see here, show you guys. You can see. Another cool thing too is even though I'm, I know I'm rambling again. See the post I'll put on this one. I had left this too to where it lifts just a little bit, which is nice because you can also, if you decide you want the inside cover to be a different color, you can still have the option to glue in your color and then glue that down on top of it. Um, I just left a little bit of room for fringe and all that. 
as well. All right, guys, I'm gonna be off doing this for another hour or so and uh, have that done for you guys. I'm excited. Good to be back, guys. Bye.